Hey, what's up, my little Tattletales? How y'all doing today? Well, baby, if you are Jennifer Lopez, things have just gone from bad to worse. What am I talking about? Something is going on between Jen and Ben. We can no longer deny it. Now, listen, why do we care? Because I do. I talk about the mess. That is my job. But let's actually think about it. When did the rumors reach a crescendo that there was trouble in paradise? Well, for one, we knew there was that curious scene that Jen and her people always do, where they literally drop like so many stories about how happy they are and blended family and all this stuff. But the crack started the show when Jennifer did um, some uh, interview, I think it was with Bizarre L, y'all remember it, when she said that, you know, Ben leaving her crushed her, sent her on a path, literally it was like an ABC after school special. I was just like, oh my God, like, are you well? Where is your therapist, Jen? I know you can afford one, JLo. Well, guess what? It wasn't over because everybody said leaving Ben crushed you for 20 years and now you feel delivered. But Ben's the one that left you, dogged you out, played you, then talked about you like a dog to anyone that listened, blaming you for his career. All right. Now that said, there was also the curious case of Ben has a lot of vices, drinking, women, gambling. <laughs> Listen, just throw every vice on there. And that's probably one that Ben Affleck has. Now, this is not to diminish Ben Affleck. Don't get me wrong. Listen, everybody has a past. And as long as you're trying to make your future better than your past, good for you. The only problem is how committed is Ben to making his future better than his past? Why exhibit A? You guys have a whole playlist on this. Go ahead and check it out. But exhibit A. They were at um, uh, the premiere of her show, Shotgun Wedding. And what actually happened? Well, it's simple. A lot of people dragged Jennifer Lopez because she drank from a wine glass in front of Ben. And everybody was like, how dare you? You're an evil bee. However, I, along with a lot of people, pointed out that wasn't Jen drinking in front of Ben. If you guys don't know, Jennifer Lopez is obsessed with treating her body right, being very disciplined. Jennifer Lopez does not drink. And unlike Kim Kardashian, who says she doesn't drink, but then there's a million videos of her, <laughs> I don't know, enjoying 818 tequila a little bit too much, right? Jennifer Lopez actually doesn't drink. So what was with her taking a sip out that glass? Because sources are saying that was the same glass. It's all over TikTok, right? After you're done with this video, go watch the Ben Affleck uh, on TikTok, where that was the glass he was drinking from. Jennifer Lopez walked up to him and was like, and he's like, Jen, I'm not drinking. I'm not drinking. And he looks so guilty. And Jennifer reaches down, takes the wine glass that he's drinking from, takes a sip, realizes it's alcohol. And you see her whole face crack. Ben looks so guilty, like a little kid that been caught. And he should because Jennifer did so much for Ben. Now, listen, regardless of what you think of Jennifer Lopez, can we just admit, I mean, I don't think it was the smartest thing. She moved her children from Miami all the way to Los Angeles to play happy family with Ben so he could be 20 minutes away from his kids with Jennifer Garner. Now, why am I bringing up the children? Because new um, new things are coming up. They guess what? The children aren't even feeling the relationship. And something's going on between those kids that they don't even want to be around Jennifer. Y'all, let's get into this. Also, they did announce for no reason that the house, the Los Angeles house that they were going to move into, which is the house she had with A-Rod, right? Ben somehow convinced her into renovating it. She didn't want to renovate it. She didn't want to live in that house. He convinced her to renovate it because it was 20 minutes away from his ex, Jen Garner's house. And of course, you know, Ben's kids come first, which is great. But Jennifer, you should need to take a, a page out of his book. So that all happened. But just this week, they announced last minute, no, they're not moving into that house. She's putting it up for sale. She doesn't have a buyer and they're moving into a rental. But guess what? Ben Affleck is living in a different rental, not with her. It looks like there's 100% trouble in paradise. And she made up that story about moving out of the house and moving into a rental because she's temporarily kicked Ben out. Why is that such an issue? Let's not forget this new report that says Jennifer Lopez's latest drama. The children prefer to stay away from her. They say Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck got married um, after 20 years apart. Despite their wedding being one of the most controversial of the year, the new stage they're going through is not as simple as it seems, particularly when it comes to their children. 
they're saying JLo's twins, right? Um, have a problem. One, they say that having famous parents can't be easy because all the time you're being watched under a magnifying glass. That's one of the main reasons why the twins, Max and M Emmy, don't want to spend a lot of time together as a family. However, Jennifer herself explained that she's constantly trying to get her children to try to get along in a house they share in Los Angeles. According to JLo in an interview with Vogue, they, she says sometimes Emmy and Max prefer to stay away from her. The singer said that recently one of her kids wanted to go to the market, but they didn't want her or Ben to go with them because of the because of the big fuss. They said, you know, it's such a thing when you go, mom. And Jennifer did say that it hurt her feelings, but she ended up saying she got it. She said they want time with their friends when they aren't being watched and followed and photographed. It's a thing. Nobody's complaining, but it's a thing. Okay, now let's pause right there. One of the reasons why people are speculating that the kids are trying to get away from Jennifer is because of Jennifer. Listen, she is arguably She's a known name, at least in America, definitely in Latin America. Everybody knows Jennifer Lopez or J-Lo. She was married to Mark Anthony. She has this big career with film, ara, ara, this, that, and the third. But the one thing that we can actually see, right, is the fact that her kids, when they were in Miami, are not in the spotlight at all. They literally flew underneath the radar. This is even when she combined households with A-Rod and they loved A-Rod's daughters and thought of them as sisters. They were super, super tight. Why are they now trying to get away from the paparazzi? One, Jennifer moved them to Los Angeles. That is the headquarters, right? That is the headquarters of the paparazzi. But two, you gotta look at it this way. Jennifer, what are you doing? It's not just the paparazzi. It's the way you completely uprooted their life. For what? For who? A man that is literally getting drunk at your movie premiere? Where does this ever make sense? And what? Like, literally. Gay pasta, Jennifer. Gay pasta. Shut up. Listen, I'm trying my best with my Spanish accent. But honestly, how, when, why would this make sense? See, here's the thing. When Jennifer was 20 and she could sacrifice everything for love, it made sense because the only person affected is you. Now you've sacrificed everyone again for your fairy tale. The only thing is, this doesn't look like it's a fairy tale for Max and Emmy. You moved them away from everyone they've known and loved in Miami to come marry this man that is drinking at your premiere. Again, Ben might be a really nice person. He might be a sweet person. He got something going on because Jennifer keeps coming back, but let's keep it real. Why would you do this to the fact of, and again, there are lots of famous people in Los Angeles. Why do you think that every time Jennifer Lopez steps out, there's always paparazzis looking around, looking around, seeing what they can do and because she calls paps, because she's desperate to give the image of the blended family. And it looks like Max and Emmy are like, we're done playing ball. We're not doing this blended family thing. Ben's kids don't have to. So guess what? We're done doing it too. But it's not over. They said, in addition, Jennifer also stated that her new marriage was difficult for her children and had to be handled very carefully. She said, the transition is a process that needs to be handled with so much care. I appreciate that. And she's right, except for the fact that she keeps giving the same people whiplash over and over again. She did admit they have so many feelings. They're teens, but it's going really well so far. Yeah, Jennifer, it's going amazing. The kids don't want to be seen with you. Uh, Ben's kids never really chill with you. Nobody wants to combine households. And everybody is just feeling like, what's the point? They talk about the public being on divorce watch. Those kids might be on divorce watch. They said, she said, last words what I hope to cultivate with our family is that his kids have a new ally in me and my kids have a new ally in him someone who really loves and cares about them but can have a different perspective and help me see things I can't see with my kids because I'm so emotionally tied up again even that beautiful sentiment you still hope for Ben to be your biggest ally not so much for the kids to see an ally of you and let's also be real right we gotta be real when you sit here and you talk about oh my god i see a new ally I, when you sit here and talk and you're like oh my god i see a new ally we're allies we're partners in crime what does it actually tell you are you an ally because being a second mommy is off the table are you an ally because that's the only thing that the kids are willing to let them uh into the life listen 
I'll say this. Combining a family is so rough and it's so hard. It is. Combining a family when you just destroyed the last family you made and hauling your children across the, 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 the town, across the uh, United States, that's even worse. Getting your children emotionally attached to someone that the more emotional responsibility they have, the more they fall down, the more they freak out again getting your kids emotionally attached to someone that has disappointed their own children a million times well i don't know i don't know listen you guys i just want to say this there is something amiss in the relationship and the more jen puts out these public headlines about oh my god ah, 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 this that and a third the more we come to the same conclusion you guys i said it once and i said it again there is something wrong going on and you know what if it was just ben and jen god bless y'all go have fun but y'all there's kids involved and these kids are old enough to know what's going on Again, the kids haven't accepted a blended family. The kids don't see that as permanent. And you need to ask yourself, why? It's almost as if they know something we don't. Anyway, y'all, let me know what you think in the comments. And I will talk to you later. Bye.